Chris, just uh, the way Dame started the first half in general, just what was it like watching it? Uh, what was it like watching him, you know, be dialed in like that, I guess? Yeah, it was great. It was great. You know, I've seen that, you know, on television a lot. Um, we saw it the first game of the season. Um, I've been on the opposite side of that a couple of times. Uh, to be on the same side of it, it was great. He set the tone for us. Um, and, you know, he came out through the first punch and, you know, really got us off to a great start with a great lead um, that lasted the whole game. You had mentioned it earlier in the week, but knowing Giannis was not going to be out, what kind of mindset approach did you, in just in general, you guys take coming into this game to uh, play without him? Collective effort. I mean, um, even when he comes back, we'll have to do it as a group. Um, but knowing that one of your main guys is out, one of the best players in the league, it's not going to be easy. So everybody has to, you know, step up to the plate, um, do a little bit more, but not by themselves. Um, I thought we did a great job tonight. Executing, you know, having our our our, our backs on uh, on defense, guys covering for each other. The rotations were sharp, um, and you know, cover up a lot of holes that you know Giannis usually covers up for us on both ends of the floor. Hey, Chris, uh, double double for you today. I think you were even playing the four during some stretches. Uh, just how did you affect the complete game, just beyond scoring? Just being a basketball player, you know, I think you know that's why I try to do the most when I'm out there, especially this this season. Um, you know, just do whatever is needed. Um, simple as that, really. Yeah. You didn't get any steals, but you know, you were going for lunges, you know, deflections. You had the rebounds and everything. Does you? How much does your defense, you personally, not as a team, get you going offensively and just in play in general? Uh, you know, I just try to be in the right spots. Um, you know, defensively, I think I'm a great team defender um, and you know just being in the right spots trying to alter passes get deflections and make guys think or hesitate just a little bit I think it helps you know the primary defender a little bit so it's all about being in the right spots so and then on the off so if we get that stop or whatever um, we're out on the break you know we're a great team when we get our when we when we get our defense set I think we did a great job of our transition defense tonight and you know loading loading helping guys out um, and there's secondary actions and stuff like that. So, you know, if I'm in the right spot, we're in the right spots, um, you know, it gives our offense a better chance. It gives our defense a better chance, first off. And then the last three coaches you've had, and maybe more, have all said you have this great calming effect on the team. Do you take pride in that, or maybe it's your patience? Like if somebody, if Dame's hot, you come alive in the fourth quarter, whatever, you let the game come to you, you don't force it. Between those things, patience and calming effect, what do you take pride in? It's just patience, you know. Um, you know, every night's going not going to be my night, um, and I know at some point, you know, the ball will find me if I'm in the right positions. Um, I think my teammates have a lot of confidence in me. So, if you know Dame doesn't get going, um, and you know we need a possession, I, I think they know they can count on me to you know make a play happen, not necessarily score, but you know get up a good shot for the team. Um, I think I take a lot of pride in that. It's just, you know, playing with patience, playing with poise, um, not getting too rattled when guys try to get physical underneath me. Just just, just take my time, get to my spots, don't let them rush me, don't let them irritate me. Um, Doc had complimented the team's screening for Dame after the game. I know in the fourth quarter you set one to free Papev up for that kick to Jay. Just how much did you feel like you guys sacrificed for each other in that regard with the screens tonight? That's what we're gonna have to do, you know. Um, you know, coming out in the second half, you could tell they wanted to take it up a notch, um, denying and pressuring everybody full court. And you know, um, we have to, you know, do a great job of setting our guys up for success. You know, especially Dame off the ball, got to set great screens. Um, a lot of times, I feel guys are fighting me off the ball to get a catch, so that's the perfect time to set a screen, also to free that guy up and also free myself up. Um, so it's just got to play the game. They can't take away everything. There's, uh, you know, a uh, Second action, a, um, a w whatever to, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but um, whatever they take take away, there's a counter to it. Um, and we have to be smart. We have to have our uh, spacing right to be able to get to those counters. Uh, Doc mentioned earlier this week, uh, Andre and Ty Ty and those guys were doing a good job of preparing you guys for the pace of the, of the Pacers. As a player, Like, how did, the, how did those guys help you get ready for this game? I hey mean, those guys got us better this week. Um, you know, they played hard. Um, they whipped our ass a couple, a couple segments, but we needed that. Um, you know, they were great. Ty, Ty, Ryan, Andre, Chris. Um, I'm missing one more. I apologize for not thinking of who he was, but they did a great job of pushing the pace for us, um, challenging us. Um, and they were like, keep saying they were really great. Played with great pace. They were attacked. They were aggressive. They played similar style to how they did. And, 
you know, during a week like that, you want to be challenged. You want to get ready for, you know, a series like this, and they definitely did that. Consistently throughout your career, you've really elevated your play once you reach the postseason. What is it about this time of year that helps you take that step? This is the time you want, you want to be playing your best, you know, best basketball. You know, 16 teams left. Um, you know, you can't take these moments for granted, you know. People, players struggle to, to get to the playoffs, and once you get to the playoffs, you know, you want to prove you're the best. And I think that's, you know, something I take pride in, not just myself, but the team. I think you want to prove that you belong here. You want to prove that, you know, you are one of the best teams and the best individual players standing.